Hello, my name is Zombie878, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to do a flash grenade, flash bang. So if you throw it at somebody and they're in the trigger zone, their whole screen will go white, they can't see nothing, then it's going to go back out. Okay, so we're going to be using the same grenade I was using, flash bang. I just went ahead and deleted all the circuits, except for the clamp gizmo, but I'll just go ahead and delete that. So first, we're going to get all the chips that we need. Uh, let me get a wall right here, so it's easier to place the chips on. Just spawn a wall right there. Okay, so first we want to get a clamp. So we're going to be using one clamp. We're going to have one trigger zone, a CV2 trigger zone. And make sure that it is as close to the center as possible. So I'm going to move my flashbang over here and move the trigger zone. See if I can get it kind of centered. Okay, that's good enough. And we want to connect the grenade to the bottom of the clamp and the trigger to the top of the clamp. We're going to move this up and we are going to disconnect it from the grenade. So detach the object board from it. That way, if the trigger zone moves, this doesn't move. And now we're going to get a chip. So first, what we want is we want a rec room, get all objects with tag, tag chip. So just type in rec room, and it should be the first chip. We're going to place it right below here. We're going to get a get element chip to get the element of the flashbang we uh, we're gonna change the tag to flash I already have the tag to flash but change it to a tag that you want and that tag will go right up here so type that tag right there so flash now that we got the get element we want a player or oh, forgot what chip it's called I don't use it too often player get equipped objects no just type in equip and it should be one of the chips that come up where is it rec room object get last equip player now we want a equals chip. Just going to put our equals chip right here for the moment. Connect it to the player that exited the zone. Going to get an if chip. Place it right next to our equals chip. And we are going to connect. The rec room object last equipping player to the player who also exited the zone. So the player who draws the grenade should uh, equal the person who exited the zone. And we're going to come. Wait, that's an equals chip too. That was an if chip. Yes, make sure this is an if chip. And connect this to player exited the zone. 
Okay, now we're going to get a list player var variable. So just type in variable. And it should be one of the variables on your list player variable. And we're just going to place it right below the if chip. In this, we'll get every single player that is currently in the trigger zone. And we're going to also get a delay chip because there should be a delay when you throw the. I'm gonna actually connect that to the thin output. There should be a delay when you throw the grenade or flashbang before it detonates. So we're just going to make that three seconds. And we're going to wire the after the delay to the list player variable. And what this is going to do is when you throw this, like I said, it's going to get the player who exited the zone. Make sure it's the same person. And when... This activates after three seconds. It's going to get all the players that are currently in the zone. So if someone makes it out of the flashbang zone, which is the trigger, then they won't get flashed. But whoever's in the zone will get flashed because it will get all the player IDs of the person in the zone. After we get the list of player valuable variables, we want a for each chip. And I've never actually used this chip before, but I kind of just figured out a little bit about what it does. So what the for each chip does is it will take uh, a, any list. It won't take a regular output. It will only take a regular list. But if you put a list of something, it gets everything from that list. And I'll show you what it does. We're going to get the role, player add role, and place it right here. So I already have a role set up for Flash. It is called Flash. But I will show you what to do. So just get a roll chip, a player add roll, and add it to this and connect it to the item. So what the for each chip does is when this activates, it takes everything from the list and everything in that list, it will get the element of it, which is why it's not a list on this side anymore. And once it gets that element, it will um, do whatever the loop is connected to, which is player add role. So it's going to add the flash role to every player that's in the element, which is in the zone. Now, let's get over to the flash. So this is the role. Just set up a role chip called a flash or whatever you want. You don't need it to have anything specific. Then once you set it up, you will want a, let me delete these. You will want a sky dome chip. So get a sky dome chip. And you want a fog chip. Okay, and now that you have those, make sure that they're both turned on. And make sure that both of them are exclusive to the player role flashed or whatever role you're using. This will make it so only those people will get the... um screen effect so now that you do that go into your sky dome chip and make the enable blend time one second and we want to turn all these the white 
So I will be back once I turn all these to white. Okay, and once you turn all these to white, it should look something like this. Where, um, yeah, the whole sky dome is white. But you see, we still see the object pretty clearly. That's where the fog chip comes in. So go into your fog chip. And we are going to turn this to white too. And we are also going to make the enable blend in time one second. And we want the start distance to be zero. And we also want the fade distance to be zero. So now that when we, even if we get right next to an object, we will not see it. Everything will be white. Everything will be white out. White out. White it out. So now you see that since it's only exclusive to the player role flash, it's not going to give me those effects unless I got flashbang. So next we're actually going to move these down. We're going to remove flashbang roll now. So move them down pretty far. We are going to get another delay chip. You can keep it the same timer or keep it longer if you want. This is how long. So this is how long it's going to take for the flashbang to activate. This middle delay chip is going to be how long the flashbang activates. So when the four each chip is done uh, flashing everybody, you can have it last as long as you want. I'll just keep it at three seconds. And we're going to get another four each chip. But we're going to get a player remove roll this time. So type in roll and it should be on the second row, the last one. And connect this to the list of player variables so every player will get unflashed after three seconds. Connect the start of the for each chip to the after the delay and put this to the flash roll. Gonna move this over a bit. And now, there you go. Now, if I throw this... Oh, wait. First, we need to make the area of effect. I would say scale it. But as you can see, the scaling's kind of broken. Oh, never mind. Apparently, if you connect the scale to the clamp... If you don't... um, Let me disconnect it from the clamp real quick. Scaling is broken in this update. Never mind, I guess it fixes itself when you connect it to a clamp. That's interesting. Anyway, after you connect your um, trigger zone to the clamp like it was before, just scale it up and this will be the area of effect. So we want the area of effect to be pretty big, so I'll just make it like that. And as you can see, when I pick up the flash, the trigger zone will stay with it since it's connected to a clamp. But as you can see, when I throw it, it's going to activate and exit. It's going to activate the delay. It's going to get all the players in the zone and add the flash to them. And then after the delay again, it removes the flash. And now I will show you by grabbing the grenade. I will throw it and get back in the zone. And you see, after three seconds, my screen will go completely white, can't see nothing. And then another three seconds later, I will be free from flashbang. And there you go. If you enjoyed that tutorial, leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you in the next video.